An update now to a story we first brought you earlier this week. Today, the Minnesota State High School League was supposed to vote on a controversial policy regarding transgender student athletes. 32 other states have already adopted similar transgender student athlete policies. Laura Lee joins us with why that vote did not happen today. James and Betsy, the board voted to table any decision on that policy, citing that they need more information. Members agreed, quote, that this is too important of a policy that they have to get it right. Right now, Minnesota state law already allows girls to play on boys' teams like football, but boys are not allowed to compete with girls even if that's the gender they identify with. One transgender college student told the Minnesota State High School League board, sports in high school require too many labels. So why would I or anyone choose to participate in sports when on a daily basis we are already shoved into a box by those who assume misgender and label us as something we are not. <laughs> the board heard hours of public testimony and thousands of emails on this issue from parents to students and administrators. Today they voted to set up a committee to do more research. Is it legal to have a student dress in a different locker room was the question. The committee will present their findings in mid-November with the vote expected for December 4th. If the policy is passed, the decision will be left up to individual school administrators following these guidelines. Now students who oppose the decision will have a chance to appeal. In the newsroom, Laura Lee, ABC 6 News.